observe the provisions of the Charter and Ordinances of the Town of Cape Elizabeth, of the Town of Cape Elizabeth, and statutes of the State of Maine, and statutes of the State of Maine, and will faithfully discharge and will faithfully discharge the duties incumbent upon me, the duties incumbent upon me, as a member, as a member of the Cape Elizabeth School Board. That's the Cape Elizabeth School Board. Would the clerk please take the roll? Councillor Lennon? Here. Councillor Guvenali? Here. Councillor Jordan? Here. Councillor Ray? Here. Councillor Sherman? Here. Councillor Sullivan? Here. And Councillor Walsh? Here. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty. Uh, town Council reports and correspondence. Anyone? Jim? Um, I'd like to, um, to bring to uh, the Council's attention uh, the memo that we received from Bob Malley this week had uh, some very good news about the work that's been done on the Greenbelt. In particular, um, Brendan has done an outstanding job of maintaining trails. Uh, we were promised a report last year and we got a report that I am incredibly impressed with. That on the heels of getting a great report from the Conservation Commission the other evening at our workshop. I just wonder if there's some way that the manager or the town council can recognize uh, Brendan Sheehan for the work that he did because I, I think it's just incredible. When you read that report, I get tired just reading through the details that this young man went through. To, to do the, the work that he did out there in the green, in the green belt. So I just want to recognize the report, appreciate the report, but also would like to ask the council to consider some way to recognize that effort uh, because it clearly, it's a, another one of the tremendous assets of Cape Elizabeth and it's being maintained um, in a way that I think all of us can be proud. Mike, is that report available uh, on the town website? Not sure that it is, but we can uh, upload it somewhere. Yeah, I think that would be one step in, in that direction, Jim, and I'm glad you mentioned it. The report was very impressive. <laughs> I actually happened to be on the Greenbelt Trail over the weekend and was very pleased uh, at how easy it was to get through certain parts that in the past haven't been. So, mm. Any other reports or correspondence? Moving right along. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this, is the, this is the first opportunity for citizens to discuss items not on tonight's agenda. Uh, so if anybody would like to speak to an issue that's not on the agenda, please come forward to the podium and we'd be happy to hear from you. Okay. Uh, town manager's report. I have no report this evening. 
Okay, we have the draft minutes from our November 14, 2011 meeting. Is there a motion? I move we approve the minutes of November 14. Seconded. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, and just as a prelude, what we will be doing in the next few items is uh, uh, electing new chairs to serve for the council overall as well as the committees and, uh, and also to fill the committee. So item number one, 2012, is the election of a town council chair for council year 2012. Uh, is there a motion? Move to um, uh, elect uh, Sarah as the council chair 2011-12. Second that. A motion's been made and seconded and uh, I understand that we actually may be referring to the chair as chairman, but that is a prerogative of the incoming chair is to decide how they want to be addressed. So anyway, uh, it is my pleasure to vote in favor of this motion. All those in favor of the motion? And opposed? Okay, the motion carries. Thank you. Uh, so now I believe I am relieved of my duties as chair and we'll switch places. Seems so happy about that. you all very much. Um, briefly, I'd like to uh, appreciate Dave and his year of service as chair. He's done a fabulous job. Um, so Dave, um, on behalf of my colleagues, I'd like to extend heartfelt thanks to um, your leadership during the past year. You've been fair, calm, and professional. Uh, we all benefited from your ability to build consensus and get the job done. No surprise, we ticked off almost all of our annual goals for this year. Um, if you'll forgive this metaphor for a moment, I'd like to just consider your clothing. Conservative and tailored, but always with a flash of panache in a silk tie of lime green, magenta, striped pink, neon blue, whatever. It always drew praise from both sides of the gender aisle. <laughs> I think that kind of sums up your personality and your leadership style. Uh, reliable, but uh, with a flair. So with appreciation from all of us, uh, I'd like to thank you for all your hard work. And with that, I present this honorary plaque. I'm kind of liking this seat. <laughs> oh yes, thank you, Mike. We wouldn't want to confuse we wouldn't want to confuse people at home. So moving along, item uh, number two, 2012, uh, the town council rules uh, for 2012. Does I'd like to move that we adopt the town council rules for 2012 with the uh, amendment to change the time of our meetings to 7 p.m. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Uh, item number three, 2012, appointment of the Finance Committee. Uh, Sarah, I'm just wondering if perhaps we might, as a council, consider items number, item numbers three through 15. Uh, all in one fell swoop. Uh, these are all the uh, appointments to the committees uh, that we discussed at our caucus, and it seems to me it would be appropriate to consider them all at once. So I would uh, make a motion that we uh, uh, consider all of these items together as one. And I'll second that. Any discussion? All those in favor? Great. So do we have a motion to take all these as a block? I'd be happy to make a motion that we approve the appointments as laid out in our uh, packet tonight, and this would be the appointment set forth in items 3 through 15. Seconded. Discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Doing great. Uh, item number 16, 2012. This is the notice of the proposed meeting schedule for 2012 with a special note that all meetings henceforth will begin at 7 o'clock and not 
Uh, do we have a motion? I move we accept the proposed meeting schedule calendar that's included in our packets today, <coughs> and notably that the beginnings of each of these meetings is 7 p.m. Second. Discussion? The only other thing I think worth noting is that both the workshops and the meetings will be at 7, so there's no difference in our time. All those in favor? Again, unanimous. <clears throat> Item number, number 17, 2012. Uh, notice of proposed budget review schedule. Um, again, they all start at 7. And uh, do we have a motion? Dave? I move that we approve the budget review schedule as laid out in our packets. Seconded. Discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Uh, item number 18, 2012. This uh, is the Appointments Committee recommendations, <coughs> and Jessica, as the chair of the Appointments Committee, I will turn it over to you. Thank you, um, Chairman Lennon. I'm very pleased to announce that we have a, a slate of nominees for the various boards and commissions with the town. Again, as usual, it's such a pleasure because we have such outstanding applicants. Um, and it makes the decision process hard. It is a small town. We work hard to keep everything fair and objective, and it's, it's always a pleasure. So I'll go ahead and read the names. <clears throat> For the Board of Assessment Review, Michael Connell. Community Services Advisory Commission, Nikki Dresser. Conservation Commission, Mitch Waxman. Conservation Commission, Richard Bauman. Conservation Commission, John Planensek. Fort Williams Advisory Commission, William Brownell. Fort Williams Advisory Commission, Donald Head. Fort Williams Advisory Commission, William Nickerson. Personnel Appeals Board, Roger Bishop. Planning Board, Joseph Shallot. Planning Board, Peter Curry. <coughs> Recycling Committee, David Ernst. Recycling Committee, John Kane, Riverside Memorial Cemetery Trustees, Gerald Sherry, Thomas Memorial Library, Board of Trustees, Judith McNanamy, and Thomas Memorial Library Trustees, Blaine Grimes, Thomas Memorial Library Trustees, Julia Bassett Schwerin. And for Zoning Board of Appeals, I, I guess I don't have to say Zoning Board of Appeals three times, but we have three nominees, Barry Hoffman, Josh Carver and John Thibodeau. So, uh, Chairman Lennon, I move that we uh, accept all the nominees presented by the Appointments Committee in one block. Discussion? I'd like to thank um, Jessica and her chairmanship, as well as to Caitlin and Sarah for the hard work that's been done on, on you know, looking through all the resumes and conducting the interviews and all the hard work goes on behind the scenes to bring us this slate of citizens who wish to participate in, in uh, local government. Thank you. And one more thing, if I may add. Um, we want to thank, there are people, of course, that were not um, selected. It, again, is a very hard decision. We are thrilled with the interest everyone shows in the town, and we hope that everyone stays on, uh, involved with the town website because vacancies occur throughout the year um, all the time. And in fact, we do still have an opening on the Zoning Board of Appeals. It's a two-year opening. So we are entertaining applications for that as well. I just also wanted to uh, say thank you to the outgoing members of these committees and boards who have done an outstanding job for the town. And uh, we thank them very much for their service. Further, anyone else? All those in favor? Unanimous. Item 19, 2012. This is uh, a request from the Oda Club for, to renew their license for malt, venice, spirits, and special amusement permit. Uh, do we have a motion? Uh, move for renewal of the license for malt, venice, and spirits at the Oda Club. As proposed. I'll second. Discussion? All those in 
just I am a member, but I think as we have decided in the past, I don't, I don't believe that requires me to recuse myself. Yes. Well, Chairman Lynn and I'm in the same position, but I, I do recall as well when we've uh, been re um, reviewing this application in the past, we had decided that those of us that are members did not need to recuse. I remember the same thing because most people were. For the sake of the record, <laughs> I also wish to state that I'm a member of Rakutik as well. And I am not a member. <laughs> Which is why I should be. But we'd love to have you. I just oh. wanted to, to thank Robin Violet, the, uh, the manager of Rakutik Club, for uh, being here to answer questions this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to speak or are you just hearing? Well, I appreciate everything and I'm, I'm glad that we can have that for another year that keeps us going. So thank you very much to the committee. Great. Um, okay, all those in favor? Oh, do you have a vote? No. Uh, unanimous. Item number 20, 2012. Um, this is the annual acceptance of gifts um, given to the town by various people to both departments uh, and committees and uh, with enormous gratitude. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who has, and I guess, do I have a motion? So he's doing the motions. Uh, I move that we accept with appreciation the gifts received by the town since December of 2010. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Uh, item number 21, 2012, Open Space Management Committee report. Um, this is a proposal to refer to the Ordinance Committee a review of the proposed policies in the Open Space Management Committee report for possible inclusion, inclusion in the Code of Ordinances. Um, motion? I so move. Second. Discussion? You okay, Ordinance Chair? <laughs> Just pile it on. We have a new, we have a new new committee, so we're ready for it. Good. All those in favor? Unanimous. Item number 22, 2012. This is a proposal to extend the term of the Alternative Energy Committee for another year. Do we have a motion? Frank? So moved. Seconded. Discussion? I just want to thank, again, the Alternative Energy Committee for all the work they've done over what is now must be at least three years. Um, Two, three. So, three, I think. so really thorough, uh, amazing work, and so helpful for the town. So, um, all those in favor? Unanimous. <laughs> Item number twenty-three, two thousand and twelve. Uh, this is a proposal <clears throat> again to, to refer to the planning board um, uh, amendments for the subdivision ordinance as recommended in the comprehensive plan. Is there a motion? I would move that we refer to the planning board responsibility for developing proposed amendments to the subdivision ordinance as recommended by the comprehensive plan. Second. Discussion? Hey, just one question. David, are there any practical implications of these changes that are proposed? My understanding is these are primarily technical amendments. Uh, so it, it doesn't appear that this is going to be a broad sweeping revision of the subdivision ordinance. Rather, it's just to make sure that all the provisions are meshing together properly. And when the planning uh, board takes this up, it'll be called the hearing on this, so people can investigate it. Absolutely. Of course. All those in favor? Um, uh, this is an opportunity for citizens um, to comment for items that were not on the agenda. Does anyone want to come forward? Seeing none, um, we have a request uh, for a motion to go into executive session to consider a land acquisition matter and a property tax abatement request. So I guess we need a motion to go into executive session. Dave. I would move that we go into executive session to consider the land acquisition matter pursuant to 1 MRSA section 405.6C, as well as an executive session to consider a property tax abatement request due to infirmity or poverty uh, pursuant to 1 MRSA section 405.6F. Second. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say uh, briefly on uh, 
The first was the two item land acquisition disposition matter. Uh, Michael and Stephanie Concanon are here uh, who have uh, an option to purchase 349 Ocean House Road. And I thought you might like a, a little brief summary of, of what, the, what the discussion proposal is uh, for that property. Do we do it here? Yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, but, great. Yeah, there's no, yeah. How you doing? Uh, well, I should put this up real quick. Uh, my name is Michael Concannon. I live at 3 Harriman Farm Road. Uh, it's my wife Stephanie back there. We have two children in the Pond Cove school system. And um, I am currently under contract to purchase the lot at 349 Ocean House Road. And what we would like to do with that is build a gourmet um, food market, which would be sell um, prepared meals, baked goods, bagels, that sort of things, um, and uh, deli sandwiches at lunchtime. Um, we are looking um, also on the second floor, there's a possibility I currently own a business in South Portland, a print marketing company with four employees that we do marketing and printing that we would be looking to move that office space to that second floor of this location. Uh, after speaking with the town, Planner Maureen and other town members, uh, I guess the question of this lot is the traffic flow and we are, after discussing with them and as well as the people who are designing our proposal, the best flow of traffic might be, and we currently have it designed where the entrance and exit would be off of 77. But I think due to the, they say the traffic light being so close, but the best alternative might be as an exit would be on to the high school driveway. So I guess we're here looking to see if that's a possibility and requesting an exit onto the high school driveway before we continue and proceed with this project. Um. Questions? Mike? Mike, um, maybe jumping down a bit, but do you have any idea at all what kind of traffic flow you're running down? I don't. We, what we would want to do, I guess, is we would do a traffic study and just to um, basically my, the second floor office would be minimal impact. I have four employees that we don't have anybody come see us. So the downstairs, we would be thinking roughly six employees uh, would not be sit down um, service. You could come and order a sandwich and we would have minimal table space and stuff like that. But as far as its traffic flow, I guess we need to do a few more studies to figure out what it exactly would be. Mike, is that 77 on the top there, right? Correct. And the driveway comes down the side. It, the, that is the current driveway into the lot right now. And uh, it would be, we, how we have it designed right now is to expand it a little bit so it could be an exit and entrance. And then the possibility onto the driveway for the schools would be one way out? Would one way out. So instead of like a, I guess a normal exit and entrance is like a 15 foot, it would be like a 12 foot exit only. And there's no drive through or anything? Like no, no, no. So um, why would you have the, the one off 77 be an entrance and an exit? If there's it, another, because it seems like cars would get confused. If, there, if the town allows us to exit off to the high school driveway, this would be an entrance only. And then that would be an exit only. Could you just um, reorient, I mean, orient us to that whole picture because I'm trying to figure out where 77 is. So I'm sorry, 77 is right up here. This is the high school 
driveway here, I think the light is roughly right here. Uh, and there's like dotted lines right here as to where at the end of the lot, the traffic would, what we would like to do is come in one way and flow out this way onto the light. Thank you. Yep. <clears throat> Any other questions? So do we go Thank deliberate? You. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And Mike. Yeah, the, the reason for going into executive session to, you know, if, if the town is giving up a property right to someone else, you'd want to discuss in executive session uh, what the terms of that might be if, if that's something you wanted to do. Okay. It's kind of awkward to discuss it and negotiate publicly. Okay. So we'll convene to the back room and then at the end, I guess, we'll come back here. Uh, yeah, sorry, excuse me, I don't think we voted on the motion though. Oh, yeah. sorry. That's okay. <laughs> All those in favor? Thank you. Thank you. No. Okay. Yeah. Has he talked to you? Oh, is that right? Yeah. Small, small town. <laughs> oh, I know, but you know, it also sets the bar. Right. <laughs> Something like that, absolutely. Well, thank you for your good for Yeah, Sarah. Sure. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Works, you know.